I'll stand for the order of worship. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. We ask now, Lord God, your presence to be in this place as we worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth. Now, God, have thy own way, Lord God, on this day that we can say, I was glad when it said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. At this time, the diggings, diggings, and trustees will be marching in. We're marching up to Zion, that beautiful city of God. We're marching, we're marching up to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Oh, we're marching, we're marching, we're marching up to Zion, oh, that, beautiful that beautiful city of God. Oh, we're marching, we're marching, we're marching up to Zion. Oh, that that beautiful city of God. Amen. Good morning. Good morning here in the sanctuary. Good morning to all of those on Facebook and on Zoom. You may be seated at this time. Um, I'm going to turn this service over. Amen. To Sandra. Amen. Trowler. Amen. Good morning. God bless you and thank you for being our worship leader. Only thing I want to share with you, please, please. Keep the bereaved families in your prayers, especially Vanessa Lawrence, the Walker family, and friends. Thank you. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Don't you know that? I love to praise his holy name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. Don't you know that? I love to praise his holy name. Church is my rock. He is my rock. My rock, my sword is shield. He is the wheel. He is the wheel. In the middle of the I know, I know he'll never, never, never let me down. He's just a jewel. He's just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I love to praise his name. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Don't you know that? I love to praise his holy name. Church is my rock. He is my rock. My rock, my sword and shield. He is the wheel. He is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. 
Just a jewel, just a jewel that I have found. Oh hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise His name. Oh hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I love to praise His name. Oh Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise His name. Don't you know that I love to praise His holy. So she's my rock. He is my rock. My rock, my sword and shield. He is the wheel. He is the wheel. In the middle of the wheel. I know he'll never. I know he'll never, never let me down. He's just a jewel. He's just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Whoa, hallelujah. 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 I love to praise his name. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love to praise his name. Don't you know that? I love to praise in the morning. I love to praise at noonday. I love to praise all day long. I love to praise all day long. I love to praise. Holy name. Hallelujah, Lord God. Amen. 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 Good morning, Shalom. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. You know, we didn't have to be here this morning. But thanks be to God. He gave us another chance to go on just a little while longer. So we know, too, that we are here to give God praises, and we're here to honor the deacons, the deaconesses, and the trustees of this church. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. You know, I'm a part of uh, Shallow anyway. I was born and raised right across the street. <laughs> I was baptized here at the church, and, and I got my first word from the Lord, right here at Shiloh. So, so this is actually home for me. This is home for me. And I love when I get the opportunity to come up and just visit everybody. I don't know everybody here now. Most everybody know me. But my name is Sandra Trower. I bring you greetings from the New Beach Road Baptist Church, where our pastor, Dr. Willard Maxwell, is the junior, is the pastor. We had a powerful sermon, 8 o'clock this morning. And so I'm about now, he's doing about the same thing. So he got another service going on. So I'm not going to prolong the service. They got me down here as a worship leader. And I think all I'm supposed to do is make sure everything stay in order. <laughs> so I ain't going to do a whole lot of talking. So and we thank you, choir. Thank you for that. I love to praise him. That was a beautiful be beginning for this an great anniversary. At this time, we're going to have the announcements by the church clerk. We'll have, I'm going in this order, we're going to have the scripture by Deaconess Diane Braxton and our morning prayer by Trustee Marty James and the chat. Thanks. Announcements for November 13th. In order to complete the 2023 Shallow program calendar, a chairperson is needed for the Women's Day and Mother's Day program on Sunday, May the 14th. Contact Pastor Myron Sutherland or Secretary Edith Ashlock Bundy as soon as possible. Please remember to give your tithes and offerings to the usher prior to the morning worship service each Sunday, or place it in the offering box in the vestibule. The deacons, deaconess, and trustees will celebrate their combined anniversary on today, Sunday, November 13th, 11 o'clock a.m., 
The anniversary theme is serving to lead others to God. Amen. Scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, 20, 21. The guest minister will be Reverend George Marrow, retired pastor of New Quarter Baptist Church, Williamsburg. Amen. Upper Room In Touch Prayer Ministry is seeking more prayer and scripture warriors to join their prayer ministry. If interested, please contact Sister Anita Lockley, Missionary Rosalie Armstead, or Pastor Myron Sutherland. Shallow Baptist Church Praise Team. The Shallow Baptist Church Praise Team is seeking a musician to play for them. For additional information on this position, please email alockley721 at gmail.com. Meetings and services. Bible study is every Wednesday, 7 o'clock p.m. on Zoom. Everyone is welcome to join these sessions. The link to join will be sent to everyone by Deacon Russell Walker, the instructor. The Upper Room In Touch Prayer Ministry is every Thursday, 7.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m., and 6 o'clock p.m. Dial 978-990-5204. Enter the access code 463-4746. There will be a bylaws meeting on Monday, November 14th, 7.30 p.m. on Zoom. Praise team rehearsal will be on Tuesday, November the 15th at 3.15 p.m. There will be a technology meeting on Thursday, November the 17th at 7 o'clock p.m. on Zoom. Mark your calendars. Harvest Rally will be on next Sunday, November the 20th, 11 o'clock a.m. during morning worship service. The In Touch Prayer Ministry and Shallow, Ministry, Shallow Missionaries are in charge. Junior Choir Rehearsal will be on Tuesday, November the 22nd and Tuesday, November the 29th at 6 o'clock p.m. The In Touch Upper Prayer Ministry session on November the 24th is being canceled due to the Thanksgiving holiday. The session will resume on Thursday, November the 1st at the regular times. There will be a financial budget meeting on Tuesday, December 6th, 7 o'clock p.m. All deacons, trustees, finance committee, and the checks and balance committee should attend this meeting. The next church meeting will be on Wednesday, December the 21st at 7.30 p.m. Please pray for our sick and our shut-in. Govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let the pastor say good morning, good morning. <laughs> I'll be reading from the fifth chapter, first, second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the 20th verse, and the 21st verse. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though Christ did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he has made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. May God add a reading to the already blessed word. Thank you. Let us, let us pray. <clears throat> Hello, fathers, again, Lord, that just a few of your children has come around this throne of grace. We come here, Lord, just to ask you to bless us and watch over us. We come here, Lord, in no special way. We come on our own strength and our own accord. We just pray, Lord, you just continue to be with us. 
Father God, we ask that you continue to walk through the halls of medicine. Father God, there are many are sick and many are asleep, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you just continue to let them know you're still on the throne of grace. Bless all those, Lord, who come under your name and call on your name. Bless us, Lord, individually and collectively. And as we go through this walk, Lord, we'll be careful to always give thy name the praise, the honor, and the glory. These things we do ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. for the scripture and trustee Martin James for that prayer. And uh, when I see him, I just think about Nat. I can remember when I left here, I think Nat was the head uh, usher here. And I mean, he did children that's coming right behind him. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and of course, for the chant by the shallow praise team. I'm not too familiar with how you do your, your offertory period. But I'm sure the ushers and the trustees know what to do. So we ask you if you would do what you normally do for your offertory period and the doxology afterwards by the first team. Yeah. 
Good morning, Shallow. Oh, good and gracious God, we come to you this morning giving you the highest praise. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have done for Shallow and all that you're about to do for Shallow. Lord, Heavenly Father, we ask that you please bless these tithes and offering. We ask that you please bless those that had to give and those that did not have to give. But Lord, Heavenly Father, we know your will, Lord, Heavenly Father, and we know that those that did not have to give this week, that you will make a way where they will have to give, will have it to give next week. And Lord, Heavenly Father, we give all praises to you. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good. Ooh. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good. The Lord is worthy, worthy, for he is good, for he is good. The Lord is worthy. Worthy, for he is good, for he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he is good. The Lord is worthy. Worthy, for he is good, for he is good. The Lord is worthy, worthy, for he is good, for he is good. Amen. Sure, I ain't somebody got some more money than they want to give. That was right fast. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to have to carry that to New Beach Grove. That's so we can get through the offering period. Thank you so much, uh, ushers, trustees, and the praise team. Praise chorus. Uh, what? Praise team? All right. Okay. At this time, we, we're going to uh, have the celebration of the histories of the honorees today. We'll have the Deacon History by Deacon Brian Wise. We'll have the Deaconess History by Deaconess Victoria Lawrence. And we'll have the Trustees History by Trustee Reginald, Reginald Lipscomb. Lipscomb? Am I right? Y'all know who he is. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. The Shallow Baptist Church Deacon Board was, was organized in the early 1900s. We strive to follow instructions found in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart, fervently. And always remember 1 Timothy chapter 3, Verse 13, for those who have served well as deacons obtain for themselves a good standing and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. We fulfill our duties as deacons by supporting our pastors on anything God has laid on his heart to do. We serve our members and support all of our church activities and communities, which include visiting other churches, um, visiting the sick and shut-ins, and also serving, with, serving and assisting with communion, amongst other things. And we also attend ordination deacon services of other churches, and we're always willing to do anything we are asked to do in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. 
I know deacons, deceased deacon board members are, Deacon Elmore Braxton, Deacon George Carter, Deacon Otter Jones, Deacon Charlie Taylor, Deacon Levi Wallace Sr., Deacon Robert Robinson, Deacon Fountain Pickett, Deacon Ernest Tabb, Deacon L. E. Lightfoot, Deacon Anthony Jones, Deacon Frank Dandridge Sr., Deacon Robert James, Deacon John Pierce, and Deacon Robert Pickett. Our current Deacon members are as follows, and I ask you to please stand as I call your name. Deacon Russell Walker, Deacon Herman Braxton, Deacon Lewis James, Deacon Walter Moores, Deacon Levi Wallace, Deacon Floyd Bunny Jr., the Vice Chairman, and yours truly, Deacon Brian Wise, as a Chairman. And now, as of 2022, we now have Deacon Emeritus, Mr. Lewis, Deacon Lewis Washington. And we thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. I will be reading the history for the Deaconess. The Deaconess of Shallow Baptist Church, James City County, was organized under the leadership of Reverend Wilbur E. Warren and installed on August 20th, 1982. There were training workshops assisted by Sis Letty Wallace, Sis Jeanette Jones, and other wives and elderly ladies in the church. The workshops helped us to understand our commitment to be deaconess. Under the leadership of Pastor Reverend Dr. Myron Sutherland, three deaconess were added to the ministry. The pastor held a workshop on called out to step up to a deaconess ministry. A consecration service was held on September the 24th 2017 for Deaconess Gillian Sutherland, Deaconess Victoria Lawrence, and Deaconess Zelda Gibbons. Our aim as Deaconess is to serve our Lord, be assistance to our pastor, deacons, church family, and the community. We use these two scriptures as our guide. Timothy, Second chapter, verses eight through 13, that Christian women working for the Lord be respectable in their dress and let their actions reflect women doing good work. And Titus, second chapter, verses two, one through five, to speak of things of sound doctrine, be a teacher of good things, that the word of God be lifted up and glorified. We join with the deaconess for prayer and praise service on fourth Sundays, unveil the communion table and keep the linens clean and presentable. We accompany the pastor and deacons visiting the sick and shut in. We give to the church annual programs, other projects and our sisters and brothers. We help baptismal candidates with dressing, assist family with breakfast, preparation, and serving food if needed. The second Sunday in April is our annual prayer and praise breakfast. However, since COVID, this event has been canceled, uh, has not been held. When the praise, praises go up, the blessings come down. The deaconess work faithfully preparing and serving breakfast for our annual meetings of the Williamsburg Men's Fellowship. Throughout our ministry, we had great leadership. Our past presidents were the late Sister Laura Dandridge, Sister Mildred Morris, 
Sister Diane Braxton, Sister Christine James, Sister Barbara James, and Sister Gillian Sutherland. The former members of our Deaconess Ministry were Sister J um, Barbara James, Sister Christine James, Sister Virginia Hartab Hartawinger, Sister Adeline Warren, Sister Alberta Dandris, Sister Freddie Carter, Sis Iris Broadus Black, and Sister Yolanda Smith. Our present members are, as I call your name, can you please stand? President Victoria Lawrence, Vice President Sister Mildred, Deaconess Mildred Morris, Secretary Deaconess Frances James, Treasurer Deaconess Diane Braxton, Program Coordinator Deaconess Hazel Pierce, Program Coordinator Deaconess Rosalind Walker, Program Coordinator Deaconess, Deaconess First Lady Gillian Sutherland, Program Coordinator Deaconess Zelda Givens. You may sit. Um, we will have a moment of silence for the ones that went on before us. The late Deaconess <coughs> Laura Dandris and the late Deaconess Bertana Lawrence are remembered for dedication to the ministry. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who feareth the Lord, share, she shall be praised. Thank you. I will be reading Shallow Baptist Church, History of the Trustees of Shallow. We are the gardeners and keeper of the church property. Trustees are necessary because state law requires them for the holding of the titles to the property of the church. In addition, in addition to our official duty vesting us by the church, we also support our pastor, the board of deacons, and every function and organization in the church. We, the trustee of Charlotte Baptist Church, strive to carry out our duties with the utmost care and accuracy. Let me repeat that one more time. We, the trustees of Charlotte Baptist Church, strive to carry out our duties with the utmost care and accuracy. The board of trustee members are followers. Ladies, gentlemen, please stand as I call your name. President, Brother Reginald Lipscomb. Vice President, Brother Larry Wynn. Members, Brother Lowell Braxton, Brother James White, Brother Conway Wynn, Brother Monte James, Brother Craig James, Brother Vincent Ashby, Brother Anthony Turner, Brother George Pickett, Brother James Bond, Sister Deborah Pern. We remember with great sadness our deceased trustees. Brother Ricky T. Strong Sr., Brother Purcell Braxton, and Brother Rufus Pickett. We give all praises to God for his many blessings that he bestowed upon this church and this church family. For without him, we could not do anything. We pray that we all continue to work together on one accord to glorify the Father and the Son. Brother trustees, I say to you on this anniversary, continue serving this church as the guardian and keeper and we must not forget who our keeper is. Psalms 121, verses three to five says, he will not suffer that foot to be moved. He that keeps thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keeps Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy upon thy right hand. Thank you.
Praise the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Deacon Brian and Wise, Deaconess Victoria Lawrence, and Trustee Reginald Lipskin. Uh, we, we, you heard the history. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of funny because I like to say things kind of funny. But, um, but you heard the history. The history is beautiful. And, I, and all of the histories I read what each member should do. So that means you just don't listen at it like I did. You all are out there, and all of us really, all of us are servants of God. All of us are to serve the Lord and bring people into the house and, and do whatever God directs us to do. But then some of us got special leaderships, or special leadership. And when we got that special leadership, we have to do what God tells us to do. And it's not only a, uh, uh, doing what the church said or what the history said or whatever said. You know you have to follow what God tells you to do. And these uh, ministries are really dear in the church. We have to serve God to glorify God. And we can't do what we are assigned to do, then, you know, move out of the position and then we can get some more. We got plenty of people concerned in the position. So do what you're supposed to do. And I know... Reverend Sutherland is with me on that one. <laughs> okay, all right, now all of the small stuff is out of the way. We ready for the word. Ready for the word. All right, it gives me great pleasure to introduce this man of God. He is a man of God. Uh, in fact, uh, he's one of my in-laws. <laughs> He used to be my, what, uncle-in-law? Is that what it is? I don't know. But he, I was married to one of his nephews. But anyway, but he always, always, always in the church, always. And see, I remember when I met Reverend Mary, Reverend Mary was playing the piano and singing. And a whole lot of people probably don't know that, but he played the piano, he can sing too. Yeah, sir. So anyway, we, like I said, I ain't going to do no whole lot of talking. I'm going to go read this. Read the history, we're going to get the word. Um, Reverend George Mara is the son of the late Deacon Plato and Virginia Mara of Charles City, Virginia. He was educated in the Hampton, Virginia school system. He, further educated, he was further educated at Virginia Union College in Richmond, Virginia, and at Ambassador Lyceum, Lyceum School of Hope Ministry in Richmond, Virginia. Reverend Merrill was married to Ruth Lily Merrill. They were blessed with two sons, George Jr. and Michael. He has one grandson, Nicholas Merrill. He is a devoted minister who was called to preach the gospel in the year of 1969. On August the 25th, 2018, he was reunited in marriage to Jacqueline Braxton of Williamsburg, Virginia. Reverend Merrill pastored New Quarter Baptist Church in Williamsburg, Virginia for 42 years. Lord have mercy, 42 years. That's a blessing in itself. Before retiring in the year of 2019, George, Reverend George Merrill is a devoted worker for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shallow, I introduce to you and present to others I don't know what they call him, pastor, minister, reverend. He's still a pastor for us, I'm concerned. Pastor George Merrill. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Give God a hand clap Man. of praise. Yes, Give God a hand clap of praise. We're here to celebrate an anniversary. Amen. To God be the glory. To our pastor, Dr. Myron Sutherland, to our First Lady Gillian Sutherland, to everyone that's assembled here, to the man of the hour that's going to feed us, Pastor Marrow, to his wife, uh, Miss Jackie Marrow, and to everyone in the building, the praise team truly greets you. We have Brother Emmanuel on the guitar today. We're here to praise and worship God. We're here to celebrate an anniversary. Give everybody a hand clap of praise, but mostly give God a hand clap of praise. 
We're going to sing a few songs for you, and we're going to move on out of your way so we can be fed the word. Amen? Amen. We want you to put your hands together for this first song. I love to, this morning when I rose, we didn't do it by ourselves, saints of God, but we rose because of Jesus Christ. So we want to give God a hand clap of praise and sing with us if you know this song. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>
felt like shouting. Anybody felt like shouting knowing that the Lord will lead you and guide you all the way. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. This next song we're going to bless you with. I don't know about you, but we all go through trials and tribulations. And with this particular song, if you would have any kind of illness, diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, whether you have heart disease, or even if you're grieving, or whatever you're going through, we want to know that God is watered in the sky. And God will place, take all of those names and place it with Jesus. So we want you to, we want to bless you with this song. We only sung it one time a couple years ago. So we pray for us as we try to bless you with this song. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Take 
Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your Church, say amen. 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 We thank the Lord for another time that we could come together and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Shallow Baptist Church, it's just a wonderful thing for me to be here with you today uh, to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank Brother Walter Morris for even just calling me and asking me to serve for you today. For the deacons and deaconess and trustees, I tell you, it's wonderful. I feel good right now. I'm almost ready. Amen. Amen. To just serve God and listen to this Quiet, this music coming from you. Amen. Remind me of back when I was in Hampton Institute in music appreciation and all of that, and just a wonderful thing uh, to share with you here today. Um, let me see. I want to recognize Brother Paul Jordan uh, because he 
was transportation for me the whole month of October at Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church. And we had a glorious time. And I'm sure that the Lord will bless us here today. Amen. And it's just a blessing. Um, Pastor Dr. Sutherland, my good friend in the ministry, and knowing him over the years, and he's just been a blessing, been wonderful to us, and so many of you. And I just, not really knowing exactly what to say, but I just thank the Lord Amen. for allowing me to be here today uh, to share with you out of God's word. Let us first bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, it's another time that I come to stand and reason with your people out of your divine word. I pray, dear God, that you would anoint me to do your will. And I pray that the word that will come today will be a blessing to the deacons, deaconess, uh, trustees, and members, of, and all of God's children. Amen. On this anniversary day, it's just a blessing, dear God. And I want to thank you for everything that you have done and ask you to keep us and remember shallow in a special way. In the name of Jesus Christ, your son, I do ask these blessings. Amen. 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 And I want to talk to you this morning from the gospel according to Luke, chapter 19. Verses 1 to 4. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publican. And he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, whom he was, but could not for the press, because he was little of stature. So he ran before the crowd, climbed up in a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Amen. 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 You may be seated. And I want to use a subject today. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. I believe that should be the desire of every one of us here today. We ought to want to see Jesus. Amen. And Jesus was coming into Jericho, traveling on Jericho Road, walking along with his disciples and a crowd of people. Because almost everywhere he would go, a crowd of people would follow him. And he had his disciples, and as he was coming along the roadside, he turned to the disciples and said, the Son of Man must be delivered unto the Gentiles. They shall mock him and shall scourge him, they shall spit on him, amen, and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall condemn him to death, crucify him on the cross. But the third day, he shall rise again. And as he began to talk to his disciples coming along on Jericho Road, they didn't understand what he was talking about. They could not understand the things that Jesus was saying at that time. And they journeyed on along on Jericho Road. Amen. 
And as they came along, a woman had an issue of blood that bothered her 12 years. She had gone to doctors everywhere, spent all the money that she had, but their medicine wouldn't help her. But one day she heard that Jesus was coming along the roadside. And she said in her mind, well, if I could just touch the border of his garment, I believe I'd be made whole. And a crowd of people were coming along with Jesus on the roadside. And she wondered how am I going to get to Jesus? How can I touch the garment? And she pushed away on to the crowd. And somebody turned to her and said, woman, what are you trying to do? And she said, if I could just touch the bottle of his gun, I don't have to touch him, but if I could just touch the garment that he wear, I believe I'd be made whole. This blood condition had bothered me for a long time now. And she pushed away on through the crowd and finally touched the border of the garment of Jesus. Jesus turned and said to the disciple, somebody touch me. And they said, Master, it could be anybody. Out here in the crowd of people, look at all around, these people all around you. It, it, it may be uh, anybody. Jesus said, no, not anybody, but somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me because somebody's been healed. Somebody's been cured. Somebody's been saved. Somebody's been blessed. Something good has happened to somebody. A change in somebody's life has taken place. And Jesus said, well, who touched me? And the woman said, well, Lord, it was I. I just want to touch the border of your garment. And I, I believe I'd be made whole. And when she touched the border of Jesus' the garment, her, the blood condition was healed. And Jesus said, go in peace. Thy faith hath saved thee. Amen. Amen. And she moved on. And coming on down the road to Jericho, uh, Jesus was near to the city of Jericho. No doubt, Zacchaeus had heard about some things that Jesus did. But as they came along, there was a, a man sitting on the side of the road that was blind. Amen. Called him blind Bartimaeus. And the crowd of people coming along, making a lot of noise. Uh-huh. And he said, well, what, what's going on out here? I hear all this noise, but I can't see what's happening. What's going on out here? Somebody told him, shh, hold your peace. Jesus of Nazareth passed it by. Oh, and what did they say that for? He cried out, saying, Jesus, Master, Son of David, have mercy on me. And they said, well, I told you to be quiet. Jesus is passing by. And he cried even louder. Amen. Jesus, Amen. Master, Son of David, yeah. have mercy on me. And Jesus heard him. And he stopped still and commanded that they bring the blind man to him. And he stood before Jesus. And Jesus said, what will you have me to do? And he said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said, receive thy sight. Thy faith hath saved thee. And immediately his eyes were open and he was able to see. And followed Jesus into the city of Jericho. Amen? Amen. 
And when all the people saw it, they began to praise God. They began to give thanks to God. And they went on and moved on into Jericho. And before Jesus got into Jericho, Zacchaeus, chief among the publicans, and he was rich. He wanted to see Jesus, but felt that he could not see him for the crowd of people. So he ran before the crowd, climbed into a sycamore tree, and waited there to see Jesus. Amen. And as Jesus was coming along, no doubt Zacchaeus said in his mind, I hope he see me. I got a fine home out there on the hill. I'm the chief among the publican, a rich man, but I'm setting up in the sycamore tree because I want to see Jesus right. when he come along. I hope he see me. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus came to where Zacchaeus was, he looked up and called him by name, saying, Zacchaeus, make haste, and come down the tree. For today I must abide at your house. And he made haste and came down the tree and invited Jesus to come into his house. Have we got a witness? Amen. And when the people on the outside saw it, they said, oh, he's going to have um, to, to, to be guests with a sinner. Right. Amen. Amen. And he went on and Zacchaeus stood and talked with Jesus. And he said, Lord, half of my goods I've given to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anybody by false accusation, I'm, I, I've restored them four folks. Oh, when Jesus heard that, he said, this day have salvation come to this house. This day have salvation come to this house. For he is, even though he is the son of Abraham, Luke 19 and 10, the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. I want us to see what Zacchaeus did here now. Zacchaeus performed the smallest act of a chief or ruler or rich man. He performed the act of a little child. He ran before and climbed up in a sycamore tree to see Jesus. I want you to see something here. Don't let nobody stop you from seeing Jesus. Amen. Amen. He didn't let his position stop him. He was chief among the public. He didn't let that stop him. He was well educated. He didn't let that stop him. He was rich. But he did not let that stop him. Amen. He didn't let the crowd stop him. He didn't let the size of his stature stop him. Uh-huh. But he ran before the crowd, climbed up in a sycamore tree to see Jesus. Isn't that something? And then he invited him into his home. Amen. And had dinner for him. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. All I'm saying to you today is, deacons, deaconess, huh, trustee, don't let nothing stop you from seeing Jesus. Amen. Let's go back and look at blind bottoms out on the roadside, coming along with the crowd. They told him Jesus of Nazareth passed it by, but hold your peace. Oh, but he cried out still louder, Jesus, Master, Son of David, have mercy on me. He didn't let the crowd stop him. 
He didn't let the noise of the crowd stop him. He didn't let them stop him because they said that Jesus was coming by. What am I saying to you? Let's go back and look at the woman that had an issue of blood that bothered her for 12 years. Oh, when, when she pushed her way through the crowd, somebody asked her, well, what are you trying to do? She made her way on through the crowd, touched the garment of Jesus, and was made whole. Wonder can you think about that? You know, I believe that if we would invite Jesus into our home, that we would have a better home. I believe it would be more love. I believe it would be more peace. I would believe we would have unity, happiness, and joy. Think about it, church. I want to see Jesus. Zacchaeus wanted to see him. And he saw him. He didn't see him, first of all, from the, his palace window. But he saw him from the sycamore tree. He didn't let nothing stop him from seeing Jesus. Uh-huh. He didn't let nothing stop him. I just wonder this morning, if Jesus would come to your house, what would you do? Amen. If Jesus came to your house to spend a day or two, if he came unexpectedly, I wonder what you'd do. Oh, I know you'd give the nicest room to such an honored guest, and all the food you serve him would be the very best. And you would keep assuring him you're glad to have him there, that serving him in your home is joy beyond compare. But when you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with arms outstretched and welcome to your heavenly visitor? Or would you have to change your clothes before you let him in or hide your world in music and put some hymn books out? Could you let Jesus walk right in? Or would you rush about? Oh, and I wonder if the Savior came to spend a day or two with you. Would you go right on doing the things you always do? Would you sing the songs you always sing and read the books you read and let the master know the things on which your mind and spirit feed? Would your family conversation keep up its usual pace? Or would you find it hard each meal to say a table grace? Would you take Jesus with you everywhere you plan to go? Or would you maybe change your plans for just a day or so? Would you be glad to have him meet your very closest friend? Or would you hope they'd stay away until his visit ends? Would you take, be glad to have him stay forever on and on? Or would you sigh with great relief when he at last was gone? It might be interesting to know the things that you would do if Jesus Christ in person came to spend some time with you. But Zacchaeus invited him into his own house and confessed his sin before him and was saved. What am I saying to you today? Let's have the love of the Lord Jesus Christ in our home. And it will be a better home. It will be a better community. We'll have more peace, love, and harmony in the home. Amen. Amen. Zacchaeus invited him into his house. He wanted to see Jesus. And he saw him, and what a blessing it was for him. It means something when Christ is in our life. Amen. Amen. The only way that we can make it is with Christ. Have a God of witness. Amen. 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 What am I saying to you today? I'm saying that one day we'll see him. Revelation 1 and 7 said every eye shall see him. And they which pierced him shall look on him whom they pierced. Have a God a witness. Matthew 24 and 30 said, And then shall they see the Son of Man 
coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Acts 1.11, the angel said to the disciples, Why y'all stand ye here gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus that is taken up from you shall come back in the same manner as you've seen him going to heaven. Uh-huh. Amen. Job 19 and 25. Job said, I know that my Redeemer lives and will stand at the latter days upon the earth. Those skin worms destroy this old body, but yet I will see him for myself. Mine eyes shall behold and not another. In Hebrews, amen, Hebrews 9 and 28, it says, For Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, but unto them that look for him he shall come back in the same manner and go as he went into heaven. We will see him one day. Yes, we will. Revelation 22 and 4 said, And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead, and there shall be no night there. They need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God Almighty shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and forever. Amen. What I'm saying, I want to see Jesus. I don't know about you, but I want to see him. I not only want to see him, church, but I want to hear him. I want to hear him talk to me. In Matthew 25 and 21, I want to hear him say, well done, that good and faithful servant. That have been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many things. Do you want to see him one day? Oh, yes, you're going to see him. You're going to see him uh, for who he is. You're going to see him chat one day because he's coming back. Looking for a church without spot or wrinkle. Amen. He said in John 6:38, I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the Father which sent me. I want to see him. Just like Zacchaeus wanted to see him. And what does Zacchaeus do? He made some preparation to see Jesus. Let us begin to make preparations to see Jesus. Amen. For he said in John 9 and 4, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. For night come and no man can work. Let's make preparations to see Jesus. Zacchaeus did. Blind Bartimaeus did. The woman with an issue of blood did. And they saw him. Amen. Because they made the preparations to see Jesus. Amen. And I'm going to leave you alone now. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 12. Said after he had offered one sacrifice for sin forever. Talking about Jesus. He stepped on a cloud and rolled back to heaven and sat down on the right hand side of the Father. Amen. I want to see him. I want to hear. I know that he lived and I know that I can do nothing without his help. That's why as I close today, church, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend but only lean on Jesus' name. When darkness seemed to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. Through every dark and stormy gale, my anchor hold beneath the veil. Somebody may be here today that never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Amen. We're going to open the, open the doors of the church.
And the choir is going to give us some music. And um, if you're here today and want to be saved, want to come and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, this is your opportunity right now. Isaiah 45 and 22. Jesus said, look unto me all the ends of the earth and be saved. I'm God. And there is none else. Nobody can save you but God. Acts 4 and 12, there's no other name given under heaven whereby man must be saved. Isaiah 55 and 6. Amen. Amen. Come on, if you're here today. This singing group, this choir is going to give us some music. While they sing, you can walk right up here. And let everybody know that you're not ashamed to accept the Lord Jesus for your Savior. Amen. Because he said, whosoever is ashamed of me and my word in this adulterous and sinful generation, I'm going to be ashamed of them. Come if you will. Bless this Savior I serve see Jesus. Amen. And that's what we all live for. We all Amen. want to do what? Amen. We want to see Jesus. Amen. So certainly thank God for him and the word, amen, that went forth this morning, this evening now. Well, it is evening. I messed with my watch, but it was an hour off. I don't know if I said it right. I still might be an hour off. I don't know. But anyway, before we go into our prayer list, uh, is it because there's a lot going on? Any any time that you see your church family in mourning and funerals Saturday after Saturday, it's definitely praying time. It's definitely praying time. They have nothing to do with pandemic. People are checking out of here. Nothing to do with age. God is calling people home. But it is praying time. And those of you that have heavy hearts, amen, the, the, the invitation has been extended. And while we're getting ready to do the prayer list, but there's anyone that want to come to the altar for prayer, that you just want to meet the Lord here and you just want to have a talk with, with Jesus. If you if you that person, I don't want to leave you out, amen, in the Old Testament, they would run and grab the horns, amen, of the altar. 
And that brings the presence of God. And that allows you to know that you are in the presence of God. But anyone that desires your prayer, I want to come to the altar. I don't want to leave anyone out. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you may be dealing with. I know what I'm dealing with. Amen. And I know what I'm going through. But I don't know where you are. But some of us, we just may need to have a talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Come on to the altar if you need altar prayer. Don't want to leave you out. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Come close as you can get. Amen. Bring your burdens to the Lord and just leave them. Leave them. Don't, don't come with anything else on your minds. Just come and just give. Just give it to the Lord. Just, just turn it over to the Lord and just let the Lord know that come, come just as close as you can get. Amen. Amen. As a church family, we, we got to pray more together. We cry together. We laugh together. But then we also have to pray together. Amen. At this time, I'm going to pause just for, just for a moment. I want to pause. And if, you, if it's you, just say it's me. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. But if you're interceding for someone, I want to give you that opportunity to call the name out of that person. Amen. So I want to just pause here. Amen. That whatever you stand in need of, let us make that request known unto the Lord. Amen. It's your time. Your time. Amen. 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 Lord bless you. Amen. 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 Bless you. All right. God bless you. Brother Ashby. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Every head bowed, every eye closed, every heart humbled. Yeah. All right. All right. Lord, today we come realizing that there's power in prayer. There's unity in prayer. There's connection from earth to heaven yeah. in prayer. All right. Prayer, Lord God, gives us the opportunity to release Thank our faith. You. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, that sometimes we try to climb a mountain. Oh, yeah. That mountain could be sickness. All right. Could be death in the family. Yeah. It could be, Lord God, just a closer walk with thee. All right. But, Lord God, sometimes we climb a mountain mm -hmm. when you teach us to speak to the mountain. All right. You told us, Lord God, if we will speak to that mountain, be thou removed. It shall oh, yes, be moved. Oh, yes. And then, God, because of our faith, you ah. said we have not because we ask not. That's it, that's it. But then, Lord, you told us if we would have faith, the size of a mustard seed. Oh God, we say thank you. Thank you for your son, Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for the word today, Lord God. We just want to see Jesus. But Lord God, as your children come today, some are burdened down. Some are carrying a heavy load. Some are broken. Some of them, Lord God, are going to a home, Lord God, where, where their loved one is not there. 
Some, Lord God, had their husband or their wife, Lord God, coming home from the hospital. Somebody, Lord God, has a doctor visit this week. Somebody, Lord God, waiting on a test result. Somebody, Lord God, have a loved one in the nursing home. Somebody, Lord God, have a youth, Lord God, have left home or they're not obeying the instructions of their parents. Somebody, Lord God, has lost, Lord God, the sense of direction, Lord. But we come today, Lord, realizing if we cry out before you, Lord, and if we lift our voices before you, Lord God, we know, Lord God, that prayer will change things, Lord God. So we lift our faith unto you, Lord God, and we believe today, Lord God, heal the sick, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God. We're right at the holiday, Lord God. The hardest time, Lord God. Time, Lord God. That our minds will reminisce, Lord God. When we get to these holidays, Lord God. So many, Lord God, want to just go into a closet. But I bind that spirit up today. So many, Lord God, don't want to see the holiday come. And if it come, Lord God, let it pass real quick. Give them, Lord, carriage. Yes, keep them, Lord. Wipe the tears from their eyes. Yes. Let them know, Lord God, that they can lean and depend on you. Let yes. them know, Lord God, that you'll cover them. Let them know, Lord God, that you'll walk with them. Let them know yes. that you'll talk with them, yes. Lord God. Yes. Touch yes. those bereaved families, Lord God. You can help them. Help them somehow to realize that they yes. stick and give God some thanks. Yes. Even during the season of Thanksgiving, we so bless your name. Bless only as you can bless, Lord God. Touch, Lord, my family. Touch, Lord God, my mother, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Give us strength, Lord, as a church to realize that we are stronger together. Give us strength, Lord God, to realize that if we stick together, we can do more together. Give us strength, Lord God, to realize that if we look unto the hills on which cometh our help, our help will come from above. Give us strength, Lord God, to realize that your blood will cover us. Give us strength, Lord God, to realize that we all have sinned and that's fallen short of the glory of God. But Lord, you told Paul, thou grace is sufficient. So we say thank you. We glorify your name. Touch every person, Lord God, around yeah. this altar yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah, thank, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. Thank Bless your name, Lord God. Give you honor. Yeah. In Jesus' name. In yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we say thank you. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Walk by faith yeah. and not by sight. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. As we move along, amen. Thank you so much, amen. Encourage one another. Encourage one another. Encourage one another. At this time, there's two more things, then we're getting ready to get out of here. Uh, uh, I believe Digging Wise is going to come with the prayer list, amen, at this time. And then, I'm, 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 um, and I, I forget so much, I'm getting older, um, lost for a name, but anyway, He's here to remind me, we touched and agreed in the parking lot, that he would be here on this Sunday. Amen. So I'm only just going to recognize him as the great ministry that he does to give him a few minutes because he took the time of his schedule. And you go into these hospitals and things, you pick up those little red Bibles, and that is the Gideon ministry. Well, my brother is here today, and I want to give him just a few minutes, amen, to address the uh, congregation. Come on, digging uh, wise and rafter, digging wise. I want him to come. I forgot all about it, but when I saw you popped up, amen. We touched and agreed in the parking lot, amen, on this Sunday that you was coming. So good to see you. Thank you, Pastor. The list is not long today for prayer and pr um, the prayer.
prayer part of the program today. But we just asked you to keep in prayer their bereavement. Um, so I work in a hospital. I see a lot of things come through the hospital. And I see a lot of different things, a whole lot of different things come to the hospital. And I tell people that I will keep them in prayer. And they will definitely, um, everybody has said thank you so far. Nobody has said no some, you know, in time. So I'm grateful for that. For, for that. And we just want to keep the, the Cooper, the Walker, the Lawrence family in prayer. Um, we want to keep the Wise family in prayer as well. And we ask to uh, continue to pray for our pastor and, our, and his family. The mother of our church, Dickens Hale Pierce, the Lockley Picking and Strong family, and continue to pray for our Shiloh Baptist Church praise team, the Upper Woman Touch Prayer Ministry, and all the ministries here at Shiloh Baptist Church. And I want to say a special thank you to our to our um, deacons, deaconess, and our trustees for doing what you do in our church service, and just keep you guys in prayer as well. So as we go to the altar, we just ask you to bow your head if we, as we pray. Our Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, Father. We come to you, Father, after hearing the word of God, Father, from this, from this man, Father, that you sent forth, Father. We come, Father, leaving him knowing that we learned something new, Father. Knowing, Father, that what you, the word you gave us today, Father, we can take out into the world, Father. And, Father, we ask you, Father, just to, just to, just to, to allow your Holy Spirit, Father, to leave with everyone who is present in this service today, Father. Father, allow your Holy Spirit, Father, to comfort the bereaved, Father. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father, to, to comfort the sick and shuttings, Father. Father, we ask you, Father, just to drive with us home today, Father. Be with them today, Father. Be with your, with, with your children, Father. Father, we love you, Father. We ask you, Father, just to take care of all your lambs here, Father. We ask you, Father, um, we thank you for the under shepherd here today, Father. Thank you, Father, for the man who brought the word, Father. And thank you, Father, for everybody who has come to hear the word, Father. And Father, we just wanna just um, say thank you, Father, for allowing us to have a, a, a holy filled church today, Father, where your Holy Spirit is, has led the program, Father. And we trust that something was said, a song was sung, Father, um, that will help someone, Father, to come to you, Father, and ask what must they do to be saved, Father. And we ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning. Good morning. I bring you greetings from the Gideons in Williamsburg. We're out this morning. We have a we have a we have a mission this week. This is Pastor Appreciation Week. And so I have gifts to give. I bring gifts. <laughs> we appre we appreciate these pastors so much. They go through a lot, don't they? You call them. You call them 24/7 when you need them, and they're right there. And I and I, I don't think we realize how hard a, how difficult a job it is. But they're they're called of God, and they and they serve willingly. I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you one thing. I want to. I want to. I want to bear testimony just for a second of what God is doing. It's not what we're doing. It's what God does. Right? Am I right? God, he, we have a wonder, we serve a wonderful God, and He has put us on mission to put to put His Word in as many hands as we can, and we can't do that without the local church. And we need members out of your church, and we need prayers, and we need financial support. And without that, we're going nowhere. And so much of the world, there's they don't have any any resources to be able to buy these. And to, and to read them, and you know that faith comes from hearing and hearing from the Word of God. And if you don't have the Word of God, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. And I'm just gonna tell you just a quick story about what's going on. You hear about Ukraine and you hear about Russia. 
back in March. You know, we've got, we've got probably about two, 3,000 Gideons in Russia and the same thing in Ukraine. And early in March, the Gideons in Russia wrote a letter to their brothers in Ukraine and they said, we can't imagine what you're going through. They said, we can't imagine the hardship and the pain that you're suffering. But they said, we know that God will not lay on you more than you can handle. And we just pray that this war will be over soon. And so the Gideons in Ukraine, they had about a million of these small New Testaments with Psalms and Proverbs in their capital city. And it was being, it was under threat to be overrun. And so they moved them. They took them in trucks and they moved them to the, to the western part of the country. And they said, this, this way when the refugees come through here, we're gonna try to put one of these in every refugee's hands. And most of the people in Ukraine are part of the Orthodox Church, which is like the Catholic Church. And they don't have Bibles and they don't read them. They don't know what they say. All they, some of them go on Sunday morning and they go and the priest reads to them a little bit and then they leave and they don't know what God's word says. And when they got these books put in their hands, they cried because they said, we've never, we've never owned one of these. And those books came from the churches in America. That's where we're the ones that are blessed so, so much. And these, the books, the, the funds to do that came from these churches. Well, the Ukrainian Gideons, they started inviting their neighbors to come into their basements at night so that when the bombs fell, they wouldn't be subject to them. And they started singing songs and singing hymns, and they started reading from the word. And many people came to know Christ because of that war. And it's going on right now. And so God takes, he, he, he takes the bad and he'll turn it into good. But his word is so important in it, isn't it? And we're so fortunate. We all have how many copies on our shelves at home? We, we have to decide what version we want and what translation. They don't have anything. So I come to you bringing you greetings from the Gideons. We're doing our best. We need your help. We thank you. We thank your pastor. This is a special congregation. This is the third pastor I've known in this church. I've been coming here for 12, 13, 14 years. Many of you have been members a long time here. So I thank you for what you do and for who you are. And pastor, you're special. Thank you. Okay. Certainly, uh, we are going to uh, be sending you something. I don't know about you, uh, many times I've been sitting in the hospital with tears in my eyes and just look over there and see that red book, the Bible, and just grab it and, you know, how we do sometimes, Lord, just lead me to some kind of scripture. But it's just good to, for the ministry to see what they do to have those Bibles Amen. Scattered all around, especially the testimony you gave about Russia and Ukraine. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, as we get ready to go down, I want to I wanna complete my task before um, uh, Pastor come back up. Amen. It's good to have a friend, amen, um, 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 like our, 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 our guest here today. Um, just, he's just a great man. Give him a hand. Amen. 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 So we, we thank you, Pastor Merrill. Amen. Um, but I want to thank our, our worship leader. Thank you so much. Amen. Make a long story short, when First Lady and I, when we, we went to New Beach Grove and just as lost as we could be, she was the first person that came to us and took us by our hands and got us involved. Yeah, do this. You ain't going to be sitting forever and all of this. So we thank you, Sandra. Amen. I never will forget those days, amen, for that. But I also want to give a special thanks, amen, to the Diggins Ministry, the Diggins, and trustees. I really love the way you put the time in to rewrite your history. 
Y'all put time into that. You put your words into that. You put your thoughts into that. You didn't just pick it up and just read what normally be read, but you put yourself into it and your brothers and your sisters. And I don't know if y'all noticed that or not, but that came from their heart. And each one of y'all did a great job of rewriting or presenting the history that you felt that you was a part of in that ministry. So truly, I want to thank you for that. And then finally, I want to thank the tech team. Amen. A low, low slack today, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Tony. Tony got short times with us. We, we thank God for Tony because Tony was the one that helped us to do all of this. But he's short time to come now. And Tony, if you will be hearing from us, we got to do something for you, man. I don't know, eat some ice cream, blow some bubbles or something. <laughs> but you have really, you have really, really helped us. And we thank God for you. Yes, so he's got one more month, and that's it, in December. But certainly we thank God for him. And last but not least, we thank God for the praise team that ministered to us today. So thank God for them. Okay, my friend, Pastor Merrill, is going to come, amen, and close us out in his own way. And it's always good to see Sister Jackie with him. God bless you. Amen. Amen. As we come to our closing today, I would ask our prayer team, if you will, just give us a little music. Okay. All right. We love music because it gets us in the attitude for worship as well. But it's um, just good to sing praises to God in song. And I'm going to leave you with this scripture that uh, my famous scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct that path. Let us stand at this time. They're going to give us some music and then we're going to have the dismissal. Amen. Amen. Let the church say Amen. 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 Let the preacher say Amen. Let the preacher say Amen. Let the preacher say 